Welcome back to this lesson on solving nonlinear equations using the bracketing methods. In the previous video, we introduced the algorithm that we use uh, for, uh, in the bisection method to find the solution of nonlinear equations. In this video, we will introduce uh, um, one example to just demonstrate how the method works. So uh, let's assume that we start with uh, find uh, a requirement to find root for this function f of x is equal to e to the minus x minus one half. This is a nonlinear equation uh, that we could determine uh, that it has a root between minus one and five. Uh, actually, this is a very large bracket. Uh, concern uh, um, when uh, talking about such a function, but let's just take it as it is here now and uh, let's start working with it. The first step would be determining uh, the signs of the function at the boundaries of the bracket. So we can see here that f of minus 1 <coughs> is a positive uh, value, while f of 5 is a negative value. So uh, the following step would be uh, that we determine what the value of x3 is. x1 plus x2 over 2 will give us the value of 2. Now, we have x3. Let's see what f of x3 is. f of x3 will be a minus 0.368. Uh, it's, it has a minus sign. It's not equal to 0. So, let's start checking. Now, it has a minus sign like... Uh, that of uh, f of x2. So now what we do is put x3 uh, in the place of x2. Now the problem becomes finding the solution or finding the root of the function in the interval minus 1 and 2 uh, as x2 uh, replaced, sorry, uh, the value of 2 replaced the value of 5. Now we get that uh, the new approximate solution is 0 0.5 uh, by getting the average of minus 1 and 2 then getting f of x3 which is 0 0.107 again not equal to 0 but this time it has a positive sign since it has a positive sign we will take it and replace uh, x1 by this new value of x 0.5 and continue. Uh, well, I've demonstrated here only two steps in this algorithm to find the solution for this uh, function. As a matter of fact, we will need about 16 times, uh, 16 iterations, uh, to find uh, a solution that has a tolerance of uh, 1 over 1000. Uh, the solution for that will be x equals 0.693. Of course, uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, algorithm can be easily implemented using a spreadsheet. Uh, I have actually used a spreadsheet and a, uh, a program to find the solution. Uh, however, spreadsheets are not really uh, of uh, interest to us here. That's why I'm not going to uh, talk about how to solve it using a spreadsheet. If you are um, uh, if you are familiar with using spreadsheets and using formulas on spreadsheets uh, like um, uh, OpenOffice or Microsoft Office or uh, LibreOffice, uh, then you may be able to uh, use the spreadsheet for that. However, uh, we can write a simple program to do that, and that's what we are going to uh, d demonstrate in the coming video. I've already prepared the code, I, uh, and it's uploaded uh, on GitHub. You can download it from there. Uh, you, uh, I will describe how this uh, code works in the next video. So, uh, see you next video.